Hey everyone, it's Aldo at Kixie here. So if you're running a sales team, you already know that you want your sales reps to call warm leads right away and to continuously follow up with your colder leads in their downtime so that they're always being productive and you're always ringing out as many opportunities as possible. So today I want to talk about how we can use HubSpot's workflow triggers combined with Kixie's prioritized power lists to actually achieve this and build an entire system around identifying your warm leads when they're warm and then calling them right away, and then making sure you have a structured outreach process in place if you don't connect with those warm leads right away so that you can continue following up with them until you finally get to that yes or no. So essentially, you will, you either want to convert all of your leads or disqualify them and remove them from your outreach process so you can spend your time focusing on your new leads. So I'm going to show you how Kixi works so well with HubSpot to achieve this, and we'll run through some workflows and talk about some Kixi automation and basically help you develop a full-fledged um, sales outreach process for your warm and cold leads. So what we're looking at right now is a HubSpot workflow. And the enrollment criteria for this workflow is like a form is submitted, which is one of the most common ways to identify an inbound lead that is interested. So basically, they visited your website, they filled out a form, they want to learn more about what you're offering, uh, and they've submitted their information to you. This is a great time for a phone call. So what we're gonna do is we're going to enroll them into a speed to lead power list right away. We're gonna put all of their pertinent information into the dialer, and we're gonna send them to the highest priority power list that we have for Kixi. We'll call it something like new lead form submission power list. So we basically want to trigger a phone call to the entire sales team right away. Whoever's available can take that phone call right now. And we'll also send them a team SMS. So this is a text message that's coming from the entire sales team. Uh, if that lead responds to the text message but doesn't pick up the call, the entire sales team has eyes on that. And I've actually explained how team SMS works more in a previous video. So I'll be sure to include a link to that video as well so you can learn more about how team SMS helps your sales team connect with warm leads and how your support team can also use it. Uh, I'll share that in the comments below. But right now, let's focus more on this speed to lead use case where we want to call new leads right away. So we send them to our highest priority power list. And let me actually show you what the setup looks like in Kixi to do this. So you can see over here that I have a few different power lists. And you can think of these as campaigns or as buckets uh, to segment your leads. But I'm sending them to what I've called my speed to lead power list. And we'll notice that it's set for highest priority. And as a sales rep, you can see that I'm subscribed to several power lists at once, but the highest priority ones will always get called first. So I can send that lead into this speed to lead new form fill power list. And I can make sure that I'm only calling them one time at this highest priority level because it's a good lead. I don't want a parallel dial. I just want to dial this one lead um, from across my sales team and whoever's available can actually answer it. And if they don't pick up the phone and we don't connect right away, I'm going to forward them to a lower priority power list. Uh, and basically what I've done in this power list that I'll show you in a second is I've created a call cadence where I'm going to call them twice a day over the next seven days. And if I don't connect with them during that outreach process, I'll forward them to an even lower priority power list where I'm dialing several people at the same time and I'm following up until I get to that yes or no. So I'll show you that in a second. Also, just keep in mind that disposition roles can remove a lead from a power list session at any time. So if it's a wrong number or they're not interested or you book the demo on that first call, all of these things can take that lead out of that power list. So let's talk more about how we forward to lower priority power lists. So let's say I call right away as soon as they submitted that form, but I didn't connect and we did not have a conversation. What I'll do is one hour, two hours later, following the rules that I've set here, the minimum duration before retries, if I don't connect with them on that first call, and I've indicated over here that this highest priority power list only does one phone call, meaning that this power list should mostly be empty all the time, except for when new leads come in because they're warm, if we don't connect, I'm going to forward them to this warm lead follow-up. And the warm lead follow-up is a lower priority, meaning that good leads, the hottest leads will always get called first. But basically, I'm going to call them twice a day. I'm going to make a total of 15 call attempts. So this means I'll call them over the next seven days twice a day. And I'm going to call them every two hours or so. Um, and if I don't connect with them, I will move them to an even lower priority power list. 
and the way that the lower priority power list works, we'll call it continuous follow-up, is at this point, we've uh, decided that these leads are now cold again. They heated up for a moment because they raised their hand, they expressed interest, they showed buying intent, but we didn't connect with them. So now we don't want to give up on them. I'm going to set this power list for infinite, meaning that I'm going to always call them twice a day. Um, every three hours or so until I finally have a conversation with them uh, and I either find out that they're interested and they want to move forward or I find out that they're unqualified and I remove them from my outreach process. And I can also build automation in HubSpot that identifies the call outcome and says this is no longer an interested lead. Let's move them somewhere else. So this is how the waterfall effect works from going from a higher priority lead to a lower priority lead. And as you can see, I can call all those leads at any time. And if I want to sub, um, subscribe to my lower priority powerless sessions that I can, and as a manager, if I don't want to give my reps an option to unsubscribe, so if I have like speed to lead uh, powerless set up, I don't want my reps to unsubscribe, I can make sure that they're locked in and always ready. Uh, and basically, when new leads come in, they'll get called right away. And that's kind of how that works. So let's talk about what happens when a lead becomes cold and then warms up again. So we all know that if you don't connect with your warm leads right away, as time goes on, they're gonna start cooling off. But they can do things to become warm again, like they can open an email, they can visit your pricing page or submit a new web form. So there's all kinds of triggers that HubSpot offers to help you identify what I like to call heating events, events that make cold leads go warm again. This is a really good trigger. Basically, I'm saying I have a Google Ads campaign out there, and I've connected Google Ads to my HubSpot account. And if a lead cl uh, clicks on one of my Google Ads, I can call them right now. So the trigger for this workflow is basically saying, if I already know the phone number of my lead, and they clicked on one of my Google Ads, I want to send them back into what I'm going to call the Google Ads power, power list. And this is also a highest priority power list. And I can put really uh, precise information into this powerless session. So I can say, hey, they just clicked on a Google ad that takes them to this landing page. That appears right here in the dialer. They just clicked this Google ad that takes them to a landing page. I can see that landing page right here as a rep. And now I can actually know exactly what the customer is looking at. And I can have a very tailored conversation right at the time that they clicked on the link. I know they're interested. I know they're looking around again and I have a higher chance of converting them to a customer. And finally, if a lead becomes a customer or they say they're not interested over email or if there's any other kind of event in HubSpot that indicates that we should stop calling them, we can always remove from all power lists at any time through a HubSpot workflow as well. That way, even if it, a lead moves forward and it doesn't happen over a phone call, we still know to stop calling them right away uh, and that way we can ensure that we don't call someone who doesn't need to be called anymore or who just became a customer and now they're being asked to set up a demo again, kind of creating a bad experience. So basically to recap, HubSpot provides you with all kinds of useful triggers that can help you identify heating events when your leads are showing interest in your product. Uh, the more HubSpot tools that you use, the more triggers and heating events you can identify. So if you're using HubSpot's CMS, that means that if they visit any of your pages, like pricing, you can call them then. Or if you connect your Google Ads account to HubSpot, you can identify when they click on your Google Ads. Uh, form submissions, webinars, all these things are great heating events and good times to make phone calls. So Kixie works really well with HubSpot to identify your warm leads, call them right away, and not give up on them until you have a conversation and find out if they're interested in moving forward. I know this is a lot to unpack. So if you do have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section below if you can think of any other good HubSpot triggers to make a phone call off of. Uh, and stay tuned for more use cases. Thanks.